Okay, this is going to be another method of creating a barbed wire illusion on a curved surface, in this case a turned wooden bowl. Uh, what I've done is I've masked the edge of this bowl off with uh, sections of masking tape. And there's probably better things to use that would go around this, but I'm just using what I have on hand and what somebody else might already have. And I've laid out with marker here six positions where the barbed wire will be. I use this little gouge to cut the coils, the, the actual what represents the wrapped wire, I use this little gouge. When I go back and I cut this mask out, I should be able to just match that up and get right, nice precise cuts when I end up pulling the uh, masking tape out. So I'm just going to continue on doing this. Again, these are just to give me a target to do the wavy wire and also an indication on where to stop my cutting. So these will just be guidelines. I'll do the a, a wavy look, separate the wires, and these are not critical because I can, they're just guides. So the next step, I'm going to have to change positions here in the camera angle, but the next step will be to uh, start and stop right at the, and come down here and connect with the double exacto knife. Okay, I think this is a good camera angle. So I've got both wires cut in by my double exacto knife. And so next I'm going to cut out the barb coils and uh, I'm going to do that. I think you'll be able to see that. I'm going to do that with this little gouge. Uh, I'll press, 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 you know, from both sides where the bumps of wire are. And then I'll uh, use the exacto uh, knife to com complete that cut. Here's the first piece of wire just making sure I incise around that I think just in cutting them out, they're a little fuzzy from the template not being down. Uh, it's actually going to give them a little variety. I still have some leeway on where I cut them out so they'll look, they won't look all repetitive. Okay, that's it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the mask from what appears to be the bottom wire. Okay, so this wire, you probably can't see this in the camera, but I'm looking in the light to see where I made a double cut, and that'll be the top wire, and this one's going to come out, and so I'll pull that one off. So that's uh, because my sections of masking tape, that's can't avoid that. It's going to come off in pieces. So I pulled off the uh, one layer of wire representative area uh, and I pulled off some of the tape with this piece here. 
and I it pulled off the little corner there so I just put a piece back on and so I'm gonna fog in some black Kind of shooting for the the mask, uh, half on that and half on the uh, the area to be painted. Okay, I got the lines fogged in. This will be the bottom wire. I'm going to pull the masking tape off now both the upper wire and the barbs. I'll get this all cleaned up and ready for the next step, which would be some more black. So I've got the shadows of the coils of the wires in there. I'm going to go back and highlight those with some white highlights. I'm not going to bore you with doing all these. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just trying to create some shadows in the coils of the wires. Okay, I've got some white paint mixed up, and I am going to hit some highlights to give it that 3D effect.
So I want to show some highlights on this wire that's in the back. So I do that, but I don't carry it into the corner where it goes into a shadow. And this is the wire that emerges as the top. And I'm, I'm going over it, you know, that it absorbs into the paint. It doesn't cover over the black as good. So I'm going over and giving it a second coat. I'll get this all off of there and cleaned up and uh, next step will be applying some more finish.